Looks like we got about a uh, three foot Pacific diamond back. He's sitting in the middle of the road. Let me back out a little bit before I approach him. You get him off the road, get him into safety. I think he's got about four or five rattles. <clears throat> Anyways, you know what? This can be educational. You know, if you come up on a rattlesnake and you're on a trail, they don't want anything to do with you, right? Um, oh, there he goes. He just wants to scoot himself off the road. Um, and there he goes. He's heading on his way. I mean, I can mess with him, but even if I do, he, he's gone, right? So just give them their space and let them be on their way. Down he goes. That's how easy it is. They don't want nothing to do with you. Um, interestingly enough, let me see if I could... Uh, he's still back there uh, going to town. Here's his trail, right? So <clears throat> you probably can't make it out. But um, yeah, he was just chilling, right? Um, so that's your lesson of the day. You know what? They don't want anything to do with you. Um, you know, I was about a foot away from him. He didn't want nothing to do with me. He did double back towards me, but he was just going for the brush. So that's cool. I dig it. Anyways, I got to head up, up into the in the mountains. So there's your adventure for the day. So I decided to check this gully out adjacent to the houses here. Um, because when I was a kid, I used to come up here. It used to be the nun's house. But we'd always catch snakes um, adjacent to the wall. So I'm looking down here and there's a rattler sitting up there. He's coming, he's coming our way. Now the question is, you know, this guy's pretty close to the houses. Um, people walk their dogs up and down this trail so, you know, I'm struggling with it. Um, it looks like he's about four years old. Looks like he's starting to make his way. I'm going to just sit here and uh, see if he comes up and cruises right next to me. So, yeah, he's three or four. Fat little guy. All right, I'm gonna pause out and then, uh, oh, you know what? I'll just stay with it. So just bear with me. See, now if he goes up, where he's gonna wind up is up on this trail here. Um, which people walk their dogs on. Yeah. If I step out into this concrete, he's gonna know I'm here. And I don't wanna spook him. I'm gonna leave him be. Here he comes. He's definitely in hunt mode. He's got that, uh, he's got that tongue working. There's the trail to the left.
he wants out of this gully. He just can't seem to. All right, I'm going to go down there. I'll be back. Well, let me turn off my... Uh... No, hold on. Ah. Stretch, guys, stretch. All right, he's going to make it up. I'll be back. Well, I'm back. He, he's in here. Um, I walked up a few more steps just to see because <clears throat> I thought I saw something up the canal there. And <clears throat> anyways, it wasn't anything. I came back. Uh, he's in here. I'm going to leave him be, right? All right. Anyways, keep your dogs on a leash, peeps. Keep your eyes on the road. I'm out. Here, look at that, an alligator lizard. <clears throat> well, let's see if I still got it. Let's see if I can catch him. I'll be back, Jack. Oh, I'm trying to give a thumbs up. There we go. Well, that was an epic failure. <laughs> That's okay. He had a long tail, and uh, as soon as I stopped the camera, he's took off across the road anyways hey man good stuff right i was kind of bummed out because i had not uh seen any snakes but an alligator lizard hey you know what that's good that was a nice size one too so good stuff hey the hike's not over yet so <clears throat> anyways all right hey you know what I gotta keep moving. And I keep my eyes on the road and to the left and to the right. So, kind of uneventful today, but oh well. Good stuff. The question is do you see it? I see it. I see this right there. Is that a head to something? Or is yep. that a rock? It's a rattlesnake. A dead one? It's a little guy. Oh, he's tiny. Yeah, he's super tiny. Anyways, just step over him. Oh, yeah. What? He's cold right now. He's Sun's down. Yeah. Yeah, I saw it. And I, I thought it was the head. Because <laughs> it's, cause it's like, yeah. sort of like a triangle. Yeah. Anyways, gotta go. So. One female was in here. Yeah. So we're about 100 yards from the last one. And spotted another one. Where the hell did he go? There he is right there. This guy's on the move, though. Anyways. Okay. Let me scoot this guy out the way. Hold on. <clears throat> the pattern to the gopher snake is so similar. Yeah. See, he's cold. There he goes. Up through the enchanted forest we go. <clears throat> Gotta watch the shadows in here. Everything is camouflaged. Always check around your bases of the trees. When I'm up in here, I'm always I got my head on a swivel. It's just the awareness level is high. I like finding stuff like this, right?
At one time, you know, people used to climb this tree. I know I used to play up here when I was a kid all the time. Super cool. I'm just blessed that I'm able to do this today and still be able to just kind of sit back and reminisce, right? It's good stuff. So this guy's sitting in the uh, middle of the fire road up here. Um, warm. Hey, yeah, toss a little guy. Let's go for snake. I'm gonna take him off the road here. Come on, guy. time it is but I don't know if you can see them there's a rattlesnake sitting right there anyway let's just check him out see what he has to say you always have to clear your area too make sure there's nothing else um, around or there's not another one anyways <coughs> Yeah, it looks like he's got still a button on him. I'm just going to push him back into the shrubs, get him off. Come on. Keep going. What a good boy. There he goes. Good. He gets to live another day. So, anyways... There's your rattlesnake. Okay, <clears throat> there's a horny toad right there. It might be the same one that I saw the other day. I know that, um, well, I didn't catch it, but he's into this brush, so I'm gonna get one shot at him. So I'll be back. Probably empty handed, but oh well. Hey, look at that. I got him. So do I just let him go here? You know, I'm not too far. Uh, anyways, he's a cool little guy. Yeah, there's my battle scars from yesterday. Dealing with snakes. But anyways, um, cool. Yeah, their bellies are kind of cool. He's pretty docile. They do spit blood out of their eyes. You can ask Peter Kinzel, old buddy of mine. Yeah, one time one of these guys when I was little spit blood and I went out of his eyes and I went crying all the way home. I thought he was killing me. Anyways, cool stuff. Hey, Bryce, I did catch him. All right, I'm going to just let him go. Talk to you later. Bye.